All right, good day, welcome. So this is going to be for Gemini, your past life reading, all right? Um, welcome any newcomers, all right? I don't like to do things repetitive on my channel. I like to switch it up, kind of expand your minds, all right? you It's up to you guys to read between the lines, all right, when it comes to these readings, because these are general, all right? If you feel like you want a personal reading, just drop it in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Obviously, shout out to my beautiful, lovely subscribers. I appreciate you guys. All right, so this is general, all right, for the Geminis, for the gems, all right? I feel like I'm forgetting something. So we have the Native American. So you might have been a, could have lived like the Native Americans back in the day. You might have been a teepee. You may have a strong tie to Native American culture, or you could be the love life. Or maybe you married. Yeah, you found a... Okay, so you either married a Native American or um, you're the Native American that married somebody. All right. I feel like it was outside of the culture. Kind of like a Dances with Wolves thing is what I'm getting here. All right. So I feel like this spouse was the love of your life. You had a beautiful love life. All right. What's going on here for the Geminis here with the Native American love life and spouse? For the Geminis. Yeah, you were fulfilled. You were very fulfilled. You guys balanced one another is what I'm getting here with the temperance. You could have been with a healer. Your spouse could have been a healer. I don't know which one you guys were, but either way, got the high priestess. Yeah, somebody was a very powerful um, seer. You were happy with the sun and the chariot. You were very happy. You guys were a successful couple. I feel like you guys just knew what direction to go in. It's like, I feel like you guys were pulled together here. And you focused on one another. I feel like you guys were determined to make this work. Because I'm getting the vibe that, yeah, you guys were meant to come together. You might have had to face some challenges along the way. But you guys had just a beautiful, beautiful marriage might have had children too the sun card can speak of a child or you know i feel like you have a strong pull towards native american stuff in this lifetime if you're not a native american you lived maybe where native americans were in this lifetime but you were happy in your love life and I just feel like you guys were so in tune with one another. The Four of Cups. All right. Disconnected energy. You guys did not like being away from each other. Is what I'm getting with that Four of Cups. When you had to be away from each other, it was like agonizing is what I'm getting here. All right. But I'm also getting you guys just disconnected from the world. I'm not getting like boredom or anything like that. I'm getting just you guys feel like you could just disconnect from the whole world. Because it can speak of boredom, etc. We do have the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, you guys were very in tune with one another. Very in tune. You succeeded. People recognized your happiness, your marriage, the love. People looked up to you guys. You guys might have been in the public eye because somebody here was... Uh, um, yeah, you guys are celebrating. You have all upright cards. Yeah, you guys were celebrated amongst the community, amongst the tribe. You were like a power couple. Yeah, I mean, it's like you guys just...
transformed one another is what I'm getting. You and your spouse transformed one another. Yeah, with the death card here. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like somebody was a healer here. And they could help heal people. And then we have the lovers there. Like, what is this? You guys were like the ultimate couple. These I'm trying to make short and sweet. If you feel you want a personal, just put it in the comments. I keep forgetting to put my email in there. But yeah, it's like you guys were admired amongst the community here. You guys might have met each other during a celebration of some sort. But with that death card, I'm getting that you guys just really did transform one another. I'm not getting nobody died, nothing like that. I feel like somebody was a seer, though. Like, they could see and connect with, like, past, like, loved ones, ones that have passed on. I feel like you guys went through a lot of changes. All right, let's get a couple chakra cards here for the Geminis. Tourmaline, smudging, perfect for the Native American, the root chakra. All right, so yeah, somebody was like a, was a healer, was a medicine man, a medicine woman of some sort. I feel like somebody cleansed people. They help them transform, transition, rebirth. Could be both of you because you guys are like so in tune with one another. Protection with the root chakra. Obsidian. Yeah, you guys pointed people in the right direction. All right. And I'm getting hearing four directions. The heart chakra. Yeah. Yeah. There's that, like, when you weren't around, that travel, they felt just lost without you. Interesting. So, yeah, there's a lot of protection surrounding your guys' relationship, your marriage in the past life, because of who you guys were, who your person was. You were protected. Got the grouse. These things are so cool when they walk. Embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. And that's what the Native Americans did is they danced. They moved. They embraced their power through dance and movement. That's how they contacted the sky ancestors. Now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways here with the starling. The white eagle, you, yeah, you guys had a very strong connection with the divine. You had the divine guidance within you. Somebody here with the high priestess was a very powerful medicine man or woman. Chief. So if you feel a pull towards the Native American culture in this life and you're not Native American, well, this is why cracked open surrender to the alchemy of life and i feel like that's what you guys did in the past life is you just surrendered to the magic of life and that's what brought you two together micromanaging the universe and i'm also getting like microdosing so you guys might have like done some peyote or something but yeah soul memories and gifts you've done this before all right so you might be in a similar situation in this lifetime. So I'm going to leave that there. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.